David Bowie's new single, Little Wonder, sees him going off in yet another musical direction. The man who's been glam rock, new romantic and heavy metal is now giving the likes of Prodigy a run for their money. Dan Burbridge wonders if at 50, Bowie can stay ahead of the game. just celebrated his 50th birthday, but it's business as usual for veteran rocker David Bowie, who, with a new album out in February, is showing no signs of slowing down. Who's been wearing around his clothes? I think probably it, it, it's the first album that I've done that's come from touring. I've never sort of gone into a studio immediately that fast after a tour to try and get down virtually a sonic photograph of how the band, band are. So it was very spontaneous, extremely fast in fact. We, we did a whole recording and writing in two and a half weeks. Little Wonder is the first single off the album to be titled Earthling. An in-your-face dance number, it marks yet another new direction for the artist who over the years has had more image changes than the Avon lady. Over the last few years, since about 93, I got really immersed and totally seduced by, I guess it, you would call it a new ryth rhythmic pattern called drum and bass. It was called uh, Jungle in those old days, back in 93. I wanted to kind of uh, hybrid it with what we do as a band, which is very much worth pretty much an aggressive rock band. Bowie joins a list of other world-renowned artists, including U2 and Madonna, who recently have made the transition to dance music. This has attracted criticism from some quarters who claim that they're just ripping off bands like The Prodigy, whose new sound has superseded their own. Bowie admits he's ashamed of being 50, but says that dance culture and rock are now intrinsically linked. I think that the advent of a new dance culture uh, is really the vocabulary of the next advancement of rock. Earthling is out on February the 11th, and David Bowie will be touring in the UK from May. She's been shortlisted.